In this video, we're going to talk about the theme management system and a little bit about the theme manager. Let's get started. In version 3.1.0, we added a new system, a theme management system that is designed to allow you to skin your UIs and to change colors, sprites, fonts, and so on. And you will notice if you go to tools, do Z, control panel, that there is in version 3.1.0 and up, there is a new tab called themes. Here you have several uh, options. Here is the themes tab where you can create new themes. Let's say my theme. And I just created a new theme. And here we have properties, color properties, sprite properties, and let's add a few, let's say main icon. And here, let's say background. We can add textures and we can even add fonts. Let's add some fonts. So I'm gonna say main font and secondary. And we can swap them out. So how does the system work? Let me add some variants. So for the first variant, I'm gonna say this will be my um, light variant. I'm just gonna call it light. Let's add one more. And this will be my dark. And one more, and let's say fire. And right away you will notice that we have some properties. This will be my primary color, secondary color, accent color. And if you enter edit mode, you can add as many colors as you like. And of course you can change them, you can rename them, and they will be renamed everywhere. And for sprites, it's the same system. All right, so the options. We have the option to add a new theme, to sort them. We can do a refresh in case something is not all right. We can save the themes, and we can also add themes that you get from other packs or from other projects. You just import them in your project, and this this this, this is the way to add them to the database. There's an auto save system that remembers the the, the previously active uh, variant, and I'm going to show you how the system works. So you have new options here under Doozy. There's a themes um, option where you have a theme manager that you basically don't really need. It has a manual page, a link to this video, and you can also open the control panel at the, at the theme step. You do not need to add it. It will be added automatically on demand. So I'm gonna remove it. Oh, not that one, but the theme manager. And let's start with the colors. First, we need to, to define some colors in order to be able to, to see them, but I'm gonna create some uh, images. Here we have a few images. Let's reset this and let's duplicate it. There you go. In order to use the system, there are targets and we have several types of targets. Let's uh, add a component. Let's go to Doozy, Themes, Target. And here we have quite a lot of targets. We have color target image. So you change the color of a target image, color target particle system. You change the color of a target, target particle system and so on for the color targets. Then we have font targets and here we change the font of a text target and font target text mesh pro and this here change a font asset of a text mesh pro so basically you can swap out fonts sprite you can change the sprite of an image so this is it this is the target and sprite renderer for 2d objects and you can even swap textures for raw images i'm going to use for this example color target image and as you can see we have the colors here and our themes. Let's open the themes panel and check it out. So because I wanna use my custom theme, I'm gonna switch it out. And right away you're gonna see the active variant. Let's go here and you'll see light. If I change this, the, the variant changes. And this is the color that has been selected. And now let's, uh, let's add some colors. I'm gonna use uh, Adobe, so color.adobe.com, and I'm gonna get some colors from here. So uh, let's put it like this, all right. 
I'm gonna move it out of the way and just uh, get some colors. So for light, I'm gonna use, uh, I'm just picking out uh, the colors. All right, let's go for dark. And here I'm gonna choose these colors. Basically I'm picking colors from here. All right, and for fire, something with fire, let's say something like that. All right, so now I have my colors. Right away, you will notice that this image, uh, this image color has changed. And it's said to use the primary color, so it will always use this um, particular uh, line. So if I change the variant, you will see that it also changes the, changes the color and we have another color, color palette here. So let's choose uh, accent two. And it will use these, uh, these colors on the accent two line. You can even rename, or rename this and say my color. And this is everything done live. And as you can see, it changed the name everywhere. And this is uh, ID based, not string based, by the way. All right. Let's uh, undo this. All right. So I'm going to select some, uh, some colors. And here I'm going to say add component, do Z, themes. And again, I'm going to use the color target, my theme. And I'm going to select a different color. Let's say accent two. And you can see how they change. And here again, do Z and themes target. And let's go with uh, accent one. So I can change the color, the, the colors depending on what scheme I'm, I'm, uh, I'm using, what variant I'm using. You can also have several themes at once. So let's create another theme. And here again, I'm gonna add some variants. I'm gonna say one and two. And three, we're gonna use the default uh, the, the default names, and I'm just gonna get some uh, colors. All right, so now I have two themes with two different color variants, and as you can see, when I change the variant for my theme, the color also changes, and I'm gonna duplicate this, and I'm gonna change it to another target theme, and. Whenever I change the variant for the, the my theme, the colors will change, but I can also change these now. So there you can have several things, several themes working side by side and the system will work. And let's also select different colors. Let's go with secondary. And here let's go with uh, accent, something like that. So as you can see, we can change different things depending on your setup. And this works with everything. So you can have sprites. So let's also uh, change our sprite here for these three. And I'm gonna select, let's say some icons. And all right. So now I'm gonna use here, I'm gonna add a sprite target image. And let's see where it is, doozy, themes, not the manager. So I'm interested in sprite target image. And here I'm gonna select my theme. And just like that, it changed. And you will see that is this one. And we can add this component, copy component. Let's add it everywhere. All right. So now when we change this particular uh, variant the sprite also changes of course i can also select okay i want to see i want to have the background image here and here i can change only the colors so you get the idea it works with everything even textures fonts and if you want to use text mesh pro you just have to enable it and you'll notice that we have a new option font asset right here and here we can add some properties. So main font and header. There you go. 
And here we can uh, link uh, Text Mesh Pro resources if, if we have any in our project. In this project, we do not. So let's also play with fonts. So I'll say header, subtitle, and here I'm gonna say quote. And let's check out some fonts. I'm just gonna select some fonts. All right, so now I have a few fonts. So let's add some text. Let's also add some color to this text. So I'm gonna say uh, color target text, and let's select this. From my theme, I'm gonna select the text color. And now I wanna use my custom fonts. So I'm gonna say font target text. And I'm gonna select my theme. Actually another theme. And you can see that now the text changes. So if we change the theme, let's move it like that. You can see it can even change the font. Yeah, and that's it for the system. It allows changing almost every aspect of, uh, of a UI. You can skin it any way you want, and it is quite easy to use. Of course, you also have to use a um, node because you also have a new node. So let me show you. Let's create a graph controller. And let's enter play mode after that. So let's open Node and let's create our graph. And here we're going to use some new options, uh, the portal node. So let's create a portal node. And let's also create a theme node. Let's disconnect this. And I'm going to say whenever I click a button, Let's say button one. So example, button one. I want to activate another theme variant one. Let's also copy this. So we have variant two and variant three. And here I'm gonna select button two and button three. So basically I have, I have three portal nodes set to listen for button clicks. And they're gonna activate theme, uh, uh, theme, uh, another theme, variant one, two, and three. And let's also create our buttons. Do we see UI UI button? Let's import the text mesh pro essentials. And here I want to have button one, two, and three. And let's also name them. So this will be my example one. This will be my button two, and this will be my button three. And now I'm gonna show you how this works at runtime. Let's enter play mode. And now, oh, I forgot to reference the graph. <laughs> graph, all right. All right, so I have one, two, three. As you can see, these things changed. And what exactly is happening? Let me show you the graph first. So if you look at the graph, you will notice that whenever I click one of these buttons, so one will come here, two will come here, and three will come here, it activates one of the themes variants. So one, two, three, this can be light, dark, and whatever you want to have, you can have as many as you need. And here in the control panel, you will notice that we change the active theme. Let me move it like that. So if I click one, it just activated, and you can see the, the sprites also get uh, changed. Actually, the fonts get changed. Yeah. So this is how the system works. You have a lot of options in the theme manager as well. And with the new options in um, the portal node and also the weight node plus the theme node, 
you can basically have an entire theme system working without uh, worrying that you have to write a single line of code. This will just work. And that's it for the theme management system for now, as we will add a few options later down the line. Thank you.